All right, guys, so today I'm going to be showing you something a little bit older, uh, but I don't think a lot of you guys are already going to be knowing about this, so um, this should benefit you. And another thing I want to address here is that I do or I do want to start uploading more advanced intermediate card tricks, hopefully by summer. Um, I see a lot of you guys in the comments saying you guys want more of that, but the whole thing is that a lot of people that are going on YouTube, um, they're searching and they're looking for more beginner card tricks, so I need to be able to, you know, kind of cater to both audiences, so I'll try to do that. I'm trying to upload more advanced uh, card tricks and all that kind of stuff, but like I said, if you're ever wondering why I post so many beginner stuff, it's because just so many beginner people um, are looking on YouTube. So anyways, that's that, and then here is the trick. All right, so this is like a really old uh, pen and Teller routine, and basically what Penn would do to start it off he would have a spectator come up from the stage or from the audience and Penn could shuffle up the deck and then he would tell the spectator to pick a number between like 5 and 10. So let's say the spectator chose 5 uh, or 8. So let's say they chose 8 and Penn would start off by showing them what to do. So Penn would be like, alright, you know what, um, all I want you to do is you said number 8, you just deal out 8 cards. So in this case we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then that 8th card would be yours. Okay, so at this point, he just explained to the spectator what to do. Penn says, you know what, I'll give the deck back to you, and he turns his back away, and the spectator deals out his chosen number, eight. So the spectator would deal out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the spectator would look at their card. In this case, it's the ace of clubs. So the spectator chose whatever number they wanted to between five and ten, they chose eight, and the spectator would put the card back in the middle of the deck. They could be shuffled up. Um, but the whole point is that I've actually predicted the card you chose in the first place. So this is kind of how the trick works. Um, Penn would kind of just have the spectator choose a random number. And then whatever number they chose, it would ultimately lead up to his prediction. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys how to do this right now. Don't forget to stick on for the tutorial. All right, so here's how it's going to work. Um, really what this is is just um, a card force and you can kind of put this into your own routine or just kind of do something like a little, like a little prediction but uh, the whole thing is is you have the card you need predicted you have this written down or you have this ready in a different routine but let's say we want to force the ace of clubs because we have this uh, in a prediction so you write this down put this in your pocket and you have the forced card on top of the deck um, and you can shuffle up the deck just making sure that you leave it there on top whatever you have to do just make sure this card stays on top. And now from here what you do is you tell the spectator to pick a card between maybe like 5 and 10 or 5 and 15. What Penn does in his performance is he says uh, pick a number between 5 and 10. And essentially the spectator could pick a number greater than that. But the whole thing is that you don't want to be sitting here dealing out all these cards. So just pick a reasonable number, 5 through 10. The spectator picks whatever they want. And they say, let's say they said 8 again, right? So what you do is you're dealing out 8 cards the force cards on the bottom. So you count this. And what you're doing is just showing them what to do later on. So you say, look, so you know what? You picked eight. All, all I want you to do is deal out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the eighth card is going to be yours. And you don't really have to show them the face of this eighth card because this one doesn't matter. You're just using it as like a prop. So you say, okay, so then this eighth card is going to be yours. So go ahead. You do that yourself. Count out the eight cards and you stack up the deck. You give it to the spectator. And before you do that, if you want, you could give it a quick cut like this and then hand it to the spectator without really saying much, just so they think maybe the deck got mixed up a little bit. But really what you just did by counting out those eight cards yourself is putting their card, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards below. So that's what you did. You just set it up yourself when you show the spectators. You give the deck to them. Like I said, you could give the deck a false cut. And like I said, if you did that, don't make a big deal about it. Just as you have the deck, just say, okay, now you can do this one yourself. And you hand it to them. They think the deck's already more mixed up. You turn your back. And you could have them count it out, out loud. So this way you know how many cards they're getting to. So they say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then when they get to that eighth card, they're looking at it. You tell them not to show you. You can tell them to put it back in the deck and shuffle it up, whatever they want, because you already have the prediction set up. So uh, this is the trick guys. Hope you guys like it. Um, you know you can put this into your own routine or kind of add this into other stuff you already know. So I hope this video uh, works out for you guys and as always thanks for watching.